Hi, I'm John Lawton from MachinesUse.com, and today I'm going to tell you how to find the hour meter, the cutting hour meter, in a FANUC control. Right now we're looking at a FANUC Series 0i TC, right up here, FANUC Series 0i TC. The T stands for turning. If it was a milling machine, it would be an M, and the series is a 0i. There are many series. There's 11s and 15s and 16s and so on. But for almost all of them, they're going to be very similar to this. I have a Fanuc Robo Drill over here with a 16 on it that works just exactly the same. So we're going to look for the hours. In the hours, what we're going to find is in the parameters. Somewhere around parameter 6,750 is where you're going to find your hour meter settings in Fanuc controls. That's 6,750. So I want to go to the parameters and find that. Well, to get to the parameters, let's say I'm right now for fun, I'll hit position. I'm on the position page. Or I'm on the program page. These are the buttons here. I want to go to the system page. It's right there. It's right above my finger. It says system. Now, I get into the system and across the bottom, this is under diagnostics, PMC, I want to see parameters. Wow, there's a soft key right there. I hit system. The parameter shows up there. I hit the key below it, the soft key. I'm now looking at the parameters. And I'm at parameter 6200. I want to get there as fast as I can. I could one line at a time move down parameter at a time with the down arrow. Up and down arrows, one parameter at a time. But I want to get faster. So I'm going to go a page at a time. Next to the up and down on that is page up, page down. So I'm going to go page down and hit it until it's, you see the numbers keep climbing, 6400, 6410. And I'll keep hitting faster and faster until I get there. 6750. Ooh, that's where a power meter on time meter is. Well, I'm there and I look and I see power on time, operating time, and then a blank, cutting time, and then a blank. And these all have numbers next to them. Now what I'm looking for is the cutting time, which in this case is parameter 6753, cutting time, and it says 50,744. So it's 50744. The line below it is blank, but it is also cutting time, they just don't repeat it. So 6754 is also that cutting time, and its number is 594857. So what I want to do is come up with how many cutting hours are on this machine. These two numbers are, first of all, in minutes, but we got to add them together. So I take, we'll make it simple so you can see it here. The 6753 cutting time, that hours, it's actually minutes, and 6754, I add them together. To get my total cut hours, I add those two numbers together. Then I divide by 60, and I come up with 10,760. So this machine, using this, tells me it has 10,760 cutting hours. So now we know how to get the hours out, but that is at a high parameter number at 6,750. Let's pretend you turned the machine on and went to that system button and it took you, as you can see these numbers go up here, you could be all the way up at line 10. Well, you, you'd be hitting this page down button forever. So it would be nice to be able to just type in the parameter line you want to go to. So, say I was in that positions button, or program, or anywhere, I want to go to one of those buttons. I want to go to this offset setting button, OFS hyphen, right there, if you can see that, right above my finger. I hit that once, and that pulls me to a line that says parameter right. I don't have the right to do that right now because it's at zero, that's off. Parameter right is off. I want to turn it on. By turning it on, I make it a one. So I go to the numbers key here where the one is, right there, and I hit the one. It's not there yet, I just hit one, but I have to input it. The input button's over here, input or enter. Now it says parameter right is on. Okay, so now I can go to find out what parameter it is by typing that number and going there. So I go back to the system button where I found the parameters in the first place. And there I am at the parameters, and right above it is a little cursor and an arrow. See the little arrow with the cursor? That's where I can now write because I put that one in there and turn the, turn the parameter right on now. So I wanted to go to 6750. So let's look 6, 7, 5, 0. Now you don't hit enter here, 
That's not input. Instead of it, you put 6750 and you're above this little thing that says number search. That's what the NOSRH stands for. Soft key. So if I hit this, it's going to take me to that. Bam. Right to 6750. Now I don't have to page down forever. So that's the other way to do it. The same stand applies. It's the same numbers. It just took me there faster. So once again, then I can go back kindly to this offset set button here. Hit it again. I want to turn that back off to make that a zero. So I go to the number key over here. There's the zero. I hit zero. Then I got to go to the input key and hit input. I'm at that. E stop. I've taken it, all the servos off, put it back on. We're not in the parameter right for that anymore. That's how you find the hours on a FANUC control.